Hey, this is Chris with vidsociety.com, and in this video, I just want to show you a little bit about what I've been doing with Yive and local marketing. If you are not familiar with what this tool or what it is, you can find it at yiveapps.com. I'll put that link under this video as well as a link to my review on this product so you can see everything that it does. In this video, I'm not really going to be doing a review, but this is more or less just kind of showing you what it can do or what I've been doing using one part of this tool. So I've been doing some uh, pay per call marketing and I've been focused on water damage restoration. And I use a website called um, ringpartner.com in which they give you phone numbers. So if someone um, calls this phone number from seeing my video and if they stay on there for about a minute in length, then I get paid anywhere up to like $15 per call. So it's pretty good uh, pay for doing something like this and it does work. So you can see here the title that I've created, it does have a little bit of spin tax, so it gets changed up a little bit. Uh, the tool here, I've got my keyword at the beginning of the script, some keywords, these are the places that I want ranked for. And if we scroll down, you're gonna see where I've done quite a few of these already. And the tags I've got here, my description, which is my keyword, the phone number, and some spin tax to kind of mix it up. And you can see that I just started this a little while ago. So with this particular campaign on uh, water restoration, I started it a few hours ago and actually we'll go to number three, six hours ago is when I started it. And you can see it's already uploaded a lot of videos. So if we were, let's just jump somewhere in the middle here. And if we were to go and just do some searches with some of these keywords, and you're gonna see right here is one of my videos on the very first page uh, with the phone number right here. Now, with this campaign, I didn't realize it till after I had um, already uploaded a few videos, but I put the keyword at the beginning of it two times. So you can see here, there's one and uh, there's two. It obviously didn't hurt it at all. If anything, it may have helped it uh, to rank better. And we'll do a few more here. Just look at them and see where they're ranked at. You can see here's another one right up at the top. And we'll jump back and do a couple more. It just kind of goes to show you how well this works. And these places that I'm making these videos for, you can see this one's right here. Um, this is actually right in the area or close to the area which this hurricane is going to be hitting, which is why I targeted this area. So I'm hoping to get some pretty good results of this within the next couple of weeks. Uh, this one here is the first one so far that's not on the first page. I'm not finding it anywhere. Let's do another one. And this one's at the top as well. So you can see all these videos are right underneath of the three pack. And so obviously if you're in this area looking for uh, water damage restoration and in this area, you scroll down, you're gonna see a map. You're gonna see this video here. There's a good chance you're gonna watch this video, possibly even call this number. If not, watch the video, then call the number. Uh, I know this works. It works extremely well uh, because I've made a ton of money in the past from doing this very thing with lawnscaping, with uh, uh, tree cutting, and several other types of paper call campaigns. So it works very well. So if you are using Yive, I highly recommend that you go in and do this. So this is a spin tax campaign, which is what I use. Let me go in and show you what I've done. We'll go up here to edit. And you'll see here under keywords, this is a list of, um, every one of them begins with water damage restoration. And then it's a city with the state afterwards. And that's what every one of these are. There's about 301, I think, is what I put in here. And then for the pre-roll bucket, I have a few videos that I added in here, so it'll mix them up and change them just a little bit. So it's gonna randomly pick one of these videos that I've added over here, my custom assets. I've added a few keywords for water damage and water cleanup. These may not have been the best ones cause on one of the videos I actually saw where an iPhone was dropping in the water. So for water damage, it's probably thinking that, you know, a phone's getting damaged by water. Um, but either way, it's, it'll be fine. And then down here, I put automatically choose assets and render. This is my script. So what I'd done for my script was I added the keyword at the very beginning. And then I just took a couple sentences that I found online from a couple other websites. I added them in here, put the keyword again. And so what this is going to do, and this is really neat, is that the way this works, I have my main video showing at the beginning which is my pre-roll bucket. So this is like my advertising video. 
let me just go ahead in here and show you. We'll go down and I'll click on this one. It happens too often. Okay, so this is my main video. This is what they're gonna see when they click on it as a pre-roll video. Down here, I've, I watermarked the phone number in the video. And then down here, you can see in the description where there are two of my keywords uh, and then the phone number. Uh, but let me go back here. So that's what this video is. And then, so because I made 300 of these videos, I don't want them all to be the same when they're uploaded to YouTube. I want them to be different. So that's why we have this script because what it's going to do is after this video plays, let me jump to the end of it. Play it. Okay, you're going to see this video here that plays. So what this is going to do is the script down here that it shows and the video and the image is taken from this script that I have here. And for each video that it creates, it's going to have the pre-roll video and then it's going to create a generic ending kind of like this, but it's going to be different on every video. And so this helps to make every video more unique by adding this to it. And then we go on down here, we can see this is the title of my videos, which is my keyword. The keyword is pulled from these. So it'll go through keyword one first, and then it'll do the second, and then the third through each video. And then uh, I have some spin tacks in here. And if we scroll down, you can see where I have the keyword here a couple more times, and then a title, and then some tags. I don't use anything for intro text, outro text, none of that. And then for customize, I just done two slides to five slides and four to seven seconds, which is basically just an extra minute. So after my pre-roll video, this video plays, then it's going to pick up this last part here, which is going to be roughly 30 seconds to a minute long. And if we go to the schedule, I have auto upload. I have a group of 10 different accounts that I'm uploading these 300 videos to. Then I'll probably do another campaign after that. Upload interval I set for 10 minutes. And I have a bucket here that I added some of my own thumbnails to, which is also found in the custom assets area. And so what you do is basically put in as many thumbnails as you want to. I put in, I think, about 15 different ones. So if you go here, you're going to see, let's see, not on that one. You're going to see this is a custom thumbnail, this is one, this is one. So they're all different. And then what it's going to do is randomly pick from that folder for one of the thumbnails. Down here I have 30 videos per day. Basically what I'm doing here is I take how many accounts that I'm using for this campaign and I multiply it by three. Three videos per account per day. So that's 30, so that's what I added here. It's going to create a total of 301 videos, and that's based on how many keywords I've entered. So total video count 301. So if we go back to the content, right here I have 301 keywords. So that's how many videos it's going to make, which is why it says 301. Then after that, I just save the campaign and I let it upload, and that's all there is to it. And this works great for local marketing, as you can see, uh, the amount of videos that I have that are ranking up at the top just from the ones that we checked and so I have over 300 of these going out in the next uh, few days I'll be doing a few more campaigns as well um, so I'm gonna have a lot of videos up there and guys if you have videos here showing they're going to get clicks people's going to call and you are going to get results from them it's just it's just a fact that's that's the way it is and so the higher you ranked here obviously the better it's going to do but you're also going to be listed in YouTube. So if we were to uh, take this and go to YouTube, we'll just do a private window here, paste it. And you can see here, this video is right up at the top, one view four hours ago. And so you got rankings on the first page of Google, you got rankings at the top of YouTube, uh, you're going to get results. It's just as simple as that. And so this is what I've been doing a lot of with Yive, a lot of uh, paper call campaigns, a lot of affiliate marketing campaigns. You can do this exact same thing with affiliate marketing. Instead of using local keywords here, you're basically going to use keywords for a specific product, something to do with review, discount, promo, best, uh, whatever it is, a series of, of keywords here. And then instead of a, a intro video of water damage you're going to have an intro video of maybe the product maybe using the product a review video or something and so it's going to be the exact same way as this except you're just going to change it up with affiliate 
keywords, product keywords instead of local keywords, and it's gonna work the exact same way. So this is Yive. I just wanted to give you guys an update of what I've been doing with it. Um, if you haven't got started with this yet or not using it, check it out at yiveapps.com or visit that link directly below this video. It'll take you to my website where you can get a full review of it uh, and see exactly what all it is capable of doing. So uh, this is Chris with Vid Society. If you like this video, please like it, subscribe to my channel, and I'll make sure to let you know when I put new videos out. Thanks.